Welcome to another episode of Entertainer and Lifestyles Television. We're getting an early start to the 4th of July celebrations here on ENL TV. Today we're going to be cruising through some destinations unique only to San Diego. And I mean literally cruising. We're going to be hosting the show from the grand ship, the California Spirit, right behind me. So join me as we navigate along San Diego's world famous shores and make a few surprise stops along the way. Welcome to another episode of ENL TV. We are aboard the California Spirit, part of the flagship cruises and events. And joining me today is Rick McPherson, Captain Rick McPherson, who is going to tell us all about this wonderful vessel and all that we can enjoy here. Thanks, Maya. Thank you so much for having us. Now, just walking up to this wonderful boat, uh, and people obviously know that they're going to experience the San Diego shores. First of all, tell us where this boat goes. This boat can go anywhere in San Diego Bay. We have over 20 miles of San Diego Bay from the ocean to Chula Vista at, at our disposal. Can you tell us more about the actual fleet that, that flagship cruises and events has and what we can find according to what kind of party we're having or event we want to have? This boat, is the California Spirit, is our largest vessel. It, it will hold 600 passengers. Uh, it's very versatile, four decks. We cover all of San Diego Bay with it. Our next largest vessel is the Spirit of San Diego. That's the vessel that does all of our nightly dining cruises. Mm -hmm. And the Spirit of San Diego uh, can hold up to 500 passengers, and we do charters on there as well. And then we have a, a very nice charter boat that holds 149 passengers called the California Princess. And we do fairy tale weddings on there, we do uh, charters, we do all kind of really fun events on that boat. And we have a uh, Coronado Ferry that's unique to our company that does uh, just trips back and forth from Broadway and or Fifth Avenue Convention Center to the Coronado Island. And you're the only company in San Diego who has We're that. The only company that has the that. water taxi. Now, there, not only is the flagship cruise of, and events diverse in terms of the food, but the, also the events. There's dancing. There's uh, Mother's Day brunches. Can you tell us a little bit more about the Fourth of July event that you have coming up? What can people expect with that? Fourth of July is a great event in San Diego. There's multiple barges where the fireworks are launched actually from the bay, mm -hmm. and we have a number of different boats that go out right near those barges, and we get in a, a vantage point where you can see all of them at once, which is wow. something you can't do from the shore. Thanks so much, Captain, for that information. Now, before we continue talking about the fantastic options Flagship Cruises offers, we're going to take a short break to visit our friends at the Sporting Club San Diego. Now, as you may know, the Sporting Club is a fully equipped fitness center which features a lap pool, tennis courts, top-of-the-line equipment, knowledgeable and friendly staff, and even a relaxing spa. And the best news is that it's right here in our own backyard. We're going to send it over to personal trainer Chris Machane, who will be giving us some tips to include in our workout routine. Hi, my name is Chris Machane, personal trainer here at the Sporting Club at Aventine. Thank you for joining us for today's trainer tip of the week. Today we're going to talk about suspension training and in particular the TRX trainer. Now for setup, what I'm looking for here is a nice straight line from her ear all the way down to her ankle. Again, the most important thing on this exercise is that the body stays in alignment through all uh, ranges of motion. So we're going to start with uh, the basic row. Real simple here, all she's gonna do is pull her hands right to her side, her palms are facing each other. Now one of the awesome things about this piece of equipment is that number one, it's really portable, but number two, you can change from one exercise to the next without having to change equipment. So now I'm just gonna add a little variation to this. We're gonna add a squat to it, as you can see here, and she's gonna come up and go into that row. So now we're, again, involving more body parts here, we're involving the legs into the exercise, and I'm gonna change exercises on her one more time. We're gonna go right into a bicep curl. She's gonna go palms up, and then pull those hands right into her face. I'm making sure that this elbow stays up and away from her body. Okay? If that elbow drops down close to her body, then she's using her shoulders to do the movement and not the biceps. And as you can see, with that elbow staying up, the biceps are really engaging here. Now, if you want to get really creative, then you can put a couple exercises together. So we're actually going to put all three of those together. She's going to go down into a squat, she's going to come up into a row, and then she's going to finish with that bicep curl. Very nice. 
Last thing I want to leave you with today is something called the 40-40 challenge. What it is, it's 40 atomic push-ups, and I'll show you what those are, and then 40 feet under anchor, so really vertical uh, row. So she's going to go down into a push-up position, and then we're going to go right into our atomic push-up. Now, atomic push-up, what that is, she's going to do one push-up, and she's going to follow that with the knee drawn. Looking for a good depth on that push-up, and then pulling the knees right into her chest. Let's do two more here. Again, this is 40 reps here. I'm only gonna make her do five today, but uh, trust me, these are tough. One more. Nice job, and then come on down. And this is a foot under anchor row. We're gonna assume that she had her 60 seconds of recovery. Feet are gonna come all the way forward for this. So right to my feet. Okay, all right, again, nice straight line. She's gonna pull the hands up right to her side, and then out. Let's have her do about five reps here. Again, you're going for 40. Okay, come on up. All right, awesome job. Okay, so I hope you learned a couple things about the TRX today. Again, really versatile piece of equipment. You can change into one exercise to the next really easily. Uh, next time you're in the gym, give it a try. Thank you for joining us for today's Trainer Tip of the Week, and we'll see you next time. Thank you once again to Chris Machane over at the Sporting Club San Diego for another way to improve our workouts. Now, we are yet again on the California Spirit and joined right now by the Senior Account Executive of flagship cruises and events. Scott Rockman, thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you for the opportunity to showcase our great company, Maya. It is indeed a great company. And in fact, we're very close to the gas lamp district. And I think that this is another great option for people who are looking for that San Diego nightlife. What do you offer in terms of nightlife? Well, we're behind the convention center and we do a lot of business in these hotels, the Marriott, the Hyatt, and the uh, Hilton, which is behind us. And those guests can walk right down to this boat and we'll take them for a cruise around the bay. They'll see, the, they'll see Coronado Island. They'll see the Coronado Bay Bridge. We'll show them the Hotel Dell, which is a great spot for photos. And we'll show them the, uh, the, where the airport, where the planes come in, and where the, where the aircraft carrier base is too. A lot of people from out of town get a real kick out of the aircraft carriers. That's a pretty neat thing to see. Yeah. And then we'll go all the way out around Point Loma, which goes out into the mouth of the ocean all the while eating great food. Let's talk about the dining options. Well, the dining options are endless on this boat. We can customize a menu for you, or we've got a whole array of buffet choices, plated meals, you name it, we can do it. And I would say that tourists or even people who live here, this is a necessary experience for them. Yeah, if they don't do this, they've missed out. This is the greatest way to see San Diego. I mean, you go out into the bay and the sun is setting and all of a sudden San Diego lights up and it's an absolutely spectacular sight. Yeah, now what other uh, events that are coming up that people can look forward to? Well, I think Captain Rick mentioned the 4th of July. That's always a big one for us. We sell everything completely out. It's a great time to be down on the bay. Uh, the fireworks are spectacular. It sounds like it's an event that one cannot miss. No, I wouldn't miss it. Now, let's talk a little bit about the wedding venues. People are always looking looking for that perfect spot to have their wedding. Oh, yeah. This is probably one of those perfect spots. Yeah, this is the dream fairy tale kind of wedding. I mean, it's uh, you can go into a banquet room in four walls and chandeliers, and you got to create the whole experience. When you get on a yacht, your guests are going to experience San Diego Bay, and they're going to experience a flagship yacht. These yachts are mega yachts. They're beautiful boats. They really, they really show your guests that you're you're putting on the dog. Yeah. Now tell us wh what a bride can expect. Well, a bride can expect pretty much anything she wants, yeah. which is why we book so many weddings. Mm. Uh, we've done, we, you can do an intimate small wedding, okay. you know, for a small number of people, maybe on our, one of our smaller boats, like the Quiet Heart, or maybe one of our little bit larger boats, like the California Princess, which is smaller than this large mega yacht, or you can just do a an extravaganza on, on, the, on the California spirit. And invite a lot of guests. A lot of guests. <laughs> right. Thank you so much, Scott. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you, Maya, for having us. Now, we're going to explore more of this mega yacht in a little while. But here on ENL TV, we strive to bring you a variety of unique places in San Diego. And for this episode, we've delivered. Up next, we have Cremolose, whom we visited earlier this week. Cremolose is a modern European restaurant that serves breakfast, lunch, and late night dinners. It features an amazing cocktail bar as well as a gelato and specialty dessert counter. Cremolose is the place to satisfy any craving, anytime. Let's see more of this one-of-a-kind restaurant housed in the heart of the gas lamp. On ENL 
TV and SDEntertainer.com. We make it our job to find San Diego's finest places, and we've done just that. We're at the Cremaloza Restaurant in the Gas Lamp District, right on Fifth Avenue, and joined today by Jamie Lynn Alber and executive chef and owner Vincenzo Laverso. Thanks so much for having us Thank at your you. wonderful Thank restaurant. You. Now, calling this place a restaurant is an understatement. I mean, you get that the moment you walk in because it's not just a restaurant. Can you tell us a little bit more about what we can find here? Basically, Cremolosa is a little bit about everything. You can come in and have like a full dinner. You can have a pizza, panini, salad, breakfast, yeah. lunch, dinner, dessert, gelato, espresso, plus we have a full bar. So this is kind of really like a European concept. Like, you know. So basically you walk in, you never have to leave again. Right? I would say so. so. <laughs> you never starve, that's I would for say sure. So, for yeah. sure. Okay, now, Jamie, can you tell us a little bit about this wonderful selection of food that you've displayed in front of us? So, we've got uh, some breakfast items the eggs benedict and the French toast. And then for lunch, we do some great little things, you know, uh, panini and salad. We've got a cob salad, calzone. It's great because if you're downtown and you're busy, you can come in and get a quick bite and then be on your way. Um, and then for dinner, we've got some pasta dishes, great stuff soul, and then we've got our wood-fired pizza, which goes all day and all night. So you can do pizza by the slice or, or get a whole pizza. So there's absolutely something for everybody and every taste, but also these portions are really big. Right. They're not just tiny We want you to, to leave feeling full. Yeah, I think people would absolutely do that. Now, coming back to the restaurant, it definitely has a modern European feel to it. What was your philosophy when you were creating this restaurant? Yeah, because um, I mean, I've traveled around Europe for many, many years. So I'm from Italy, so I'm trying to create something and already live in Italy. It's the same kind of concept. So you can go in the restaurant, they have a panini, coffee, espresso, croissant, basically cremolos include everything, from breakfast to lunch and dinner from dessert to gelato to full bar. Right. And you also import some of your foods as well. We do. A lot of the items come directly from Italy, um, and specifically the signature product. So Cremolosa is actually um, a product. It's not like gelato. It's not like ice cream. It's not like sorbet. It's really unique in its own. And you won't know until you try it. Right. You won't have that experience. Right. And this is the only place in San Diego where you can try it. Only place in the country where you can try it. Only place in the country. Wow. Yeah, basically, the cremolosa line, they even use it for the dessert. So, there's some nuts, puree, pistachio, puree. This is make the dessert. They come from the cremolosa line from Italy, too. Well, I really look forward to trying it. But right now, how about we take the party down to the bar? Yeah. Sounds good. Great. Let's Thank go. you. Okay, Jamie, we're at the bar now. and uh, My favorite spot. Yes, it's going to be two for me. And we're also joined by Sean Landers, who is one of the managers here at Cremolosa. And I understand that you are going to share some of your favorites with us. I certainly am, ladies. Uh, first, I'm going to make you ladies a pina colada using our fresh coconut cremolosa dessert from the case. And you can see uh, the coconut shavings. Yeah, this is the first time I've actually seen the coconut one. And Up you can close. actually see yeah. the coconut shavings, it's, like you were saying. It's what makes cremolosa really unique, is yeah. that you have the actual you know, fabrics mm -hmm. of the fruit and yeah. the ingredients right there in the cup. And in this case, we get to let the cremolosa do most of the work in the beverage. It's great because one of the things that we do is not just have the cremolosa cocktails, you know, ones that we've already created, mm -hmm. but what's kind of fun is you can go to the counter and pick a flavor of cremolosa that you want, and Sean will, you know, create something. So yeah. if you're in the mood for blood orange cremolosa mm -hmm. or if you want strawberry, he can kind of just come up with something that fits your mood. That's fantastic. Yeah. Customized drinks. Customized <laughs> drinks. And here we are. Oh, ladies. wow. That oh, wow. looks amazing. Let's try something else on the menu, too. I'm going to pick something out. Um, how about the cappuccini? The cappuccini is, uh, is great uh, during happy hour, and it's also great with desserts, a little bit uh, for an after-dinner drink. Um, the cappuccini starts off with some uh, Stoli vanilla vodka. Then we add our Borghetti Duvera Cafe Espresso. a little cream with uh, tre leches. And finally, our uh, secret weapon, our imported Italian espresso, fresh. Very nice. All right. Shaking over ice. 
This way you can have coffee and an after dinner drink at the same time. Keep you going for the rest of the night. <laughs> yes. Oh. Powdered chocolate. And there we are. Thank you. All right. Cheers, Cheers to you, Jamie. Thank you. Wow. The coffee flavor is so predominant in that drink. I know. It's delicious. How's yours? Great. It's fantastic. You can really taste the cremolosa and yeah. the coconut. Now let's talk about the prices a little bit. What type of uh, price tier do you have with the? So we've got uh, a really affordable, you know, price tier. Our drinks are three dollars, five dollars, oh. and seven dollars. And you've got, you know, beers that are three dollars, and then house wells, wines, and premium beers that are five. And then the specialty cocktail list we have for seven dollars. And then yeah. our our food is four, six, and eight. So you've got okay. something that fits mm -hmm. in um, at kind of you know, a moderately priced budget. And then our happy hour is every day from three to seven. So okay. you've got a long time to come in and, yeah. and get something good. Really well priced foods and drinks. What do we have here? Our oh, those are the tacos. Fish tacos. Wow. Those look great. And as crab well cakes. As well the crab uh -huh. cakes. Yummy. So you have good. to have good food to go with good drinks. That sounds okay. great. I think we're going to have to taste some of this. And oh, our ahi tuna. Wonderful. Oh, yeah. What other things can we find on your menus for the happy hour? Like for the happy hour. So we've got... Uh, pizza's open all the pizza, time. Pizza's all the time, okay. and pizza's on the happy hour menu, actually, okay. as well. In addition to the pizzas that we have all the time and the paninis, we've got uh, something that's very traditional Italian called arancini, mm -hmm. and it's a rice ball that has been fried and it's stuffed with a beef ragu. It's, Ooh, it's amazing. That does sound good. Yep. And so we've got, you know, your traditional things to make people happy. Onion rings, mm -hmm. french fries. Um, but it's really, really good quality food, which, you know, you don't really find in a lot of restaurants for happy hour. Exactly. Like I was going to say, just for happy hour especially. Let's pick up your fork and try some of this okay, stuff. Okay. Well, what? I'm going to go for the ahi. It's yeah. my favorite. I'll try that with you too. Okay. Well, my bite's way bigger than yours, but mm. I think I can do it. I think it's time to go and check out the dessert counter. Thank you so much, Sean. You're very welcome. Thank you. Bye. Jamie, this is the display I've been dying to get to since I walked through the doors. Here we're in front of the gelato, and Dion is here to help us, guide us through the flavors and the process of making gelato. Absolutely. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. How are you? So these are our gelatos that we make from scratch here in-house. Um, they're all amazing and gelato is just a creamier version of ice cream a lot richer a lot thicker it hails from dairy farmers it's a traditional northern italy way of making ice cream gives it its creamy base i really like the baccio it's a crowd favorite and also the set the deli it's modeled after a traditional italian cake it's seven layers of chocolate it's like a mound of awesomeness you got to try it i don't know about you but i've already picked the flavor oh i i know i like all the flavors yeah every single one of course but you have to pick one right now Okay, I'm gonna go with pistachio. Pistachio? Okay. And I'll try the baccio, please. The baccio. So this is a pistachio and baccio. Thank you. My pleasure. Mm. So good. That's delicious. I definitely wanna try the cremolos, which is one display over. Yes. And uh, what can you tell us, how is this different than gelato and ice cream and sorbet? These we actually import from Sicily. They're traditional Sicilian way of making ice cream, they're more of a sorbet. It's 60% of the ingredient, all natural sugar, it's no preservatives, no added sugar, and all of the fruit are 60% of the fruit, 40% ice, but the chocolate and coconut ones, they have a more texture flavor to them. Uh, light lactose, very good. Still get all the flavor. You can actually, in the pistachio one, you can actually, it just looks like ground up pistachio. Are you gonna try it? I'm definitely gonna try that. What about you? Um, I think I'm gonna go, my favorite is the strawberry. It is fantastic. So the pistachio is going to be different from the pistachio gelato. This one has more of a nutty texture to it. And then a strawberry. This is like the best strawberry anything you ever have. Oh okay. my gosh. This is, this is like heaven. I actually love the mix of strawberry with like a vodka or a rum from the bar. It mixes well, not too rich, not too sugary. Something I think you'll really enjoy. And that's another great unique thing about this restaurant is you can actually come to the cremolosa counter, pick which flavor you want, and take, it, and take it over to the bar and they can make you a drink based on that flavor. Absolutely. Amazing. Thanks so much, Dion. Now, what do you say we go uh, finish our drinks at the bar and go meet Vincenzo Absolutely. upstairs? Sounds like a good idea. I like it. Thank you. My pleasure, ladies. Thank Have you. a nice evening.
We're back upstairs in front of this incredible spread of food. We're at Cremalose Restaurant on Fifth Avenue in the Gaslamp District. Again, joined by Jamie and Vincenzo. Thank you. Now, not only is this place special because you've combined modern and classical European style, but there's something very special about this restaurant in that it's in a very important historic landmark. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah, it's in the old San Diego Hardware Building. So, um, you know, we have a lot of people that will come in that have been, you know, locals to San Diego. And they they go and they see the restaurant and they go, oh, you know, I, I used to buy nails here when I was a kid with my dad. So we've kind of tried to keep that historic feeling and mixing the restaurant with the menu from old Italy. And we've added, you know, some modern twists. It's very colorful if you'll see, you know, the tables, the walls, the dessert counter. We also wanted to keep the original ceiling and kind of put our twist on it. So it's got a great tin embossing over top of it, which gives it a, a bright feel inside it really the restaurant. Does. It's a very airy restaurant. Yeah. Another great unique thing about this restaurant are the hours that you keep. Tell right. us about when people can fly in these doors. Well, during the week, uh, Monday through Friday, we open for breakfast at 10.30, mm -hmm. and then we serve breakfast until 3, and then we close at midnight. Uh, but Friday and Saturday, we stay open pretty late, uh, you know, just to kind of get all of those people food that are still hungry. We stay, we're supposed to be open until 2, but, you know, if people need something a little later, we can accommodate them. And then we're open for breakfast at 8 a.m. on Saturday and Sunday that you can come in and get your, you know, $10 bottomless mimosa and, mm -hmm. and enjoy the patio. And it's incredible that you serve breakfast till 3. It's till 3, yes. You know, a lot of places kind of close early, but yeah. some people don't get out of bed that early, so they kind of they can roll in and get a breakfast. That's fantastic. We thank you so much. And for you to plan your visit here, go to cremolosasd.com or sdentertainer.com. We're back here on the California Spirit, part of Flagship Cruises and Events, and we are joined by Chef Brian Gist. This is where the dining magic happens. Yes, it does. What are you going to prepare for us? I'm actually going to prepare for you our, uh, our dinner cruise menu that, we're, uh, that we do nightly yeah. on our boats. Uh, first of all, just to show you guys what we start off with, is we start off with a, uh, a mixed green salad that we top with uh, cranberries, uh, gorgonzola cheese, uh, Granny Smith apples, and we do a, uh, a hard apple cider vinaigrette to go on top of that. Yummy. Um, fast forward to dessert, we have a... Uh, a chocolate mousse cheesecake. Although some people like to start with that. Life is short, start with dessert, right? <laughs> I agree. <laughs> uh, and then other than that, we, uh, we have our, our entree, which I'm going to uh, prepare over Please, here. Please, yes, let's, yeah. let's hear about okay. it. Okay. Well, we have, uh, we have a slow braised short rib that we uh, braise in the oven for uh, about five hours or so. Um, and then we also have nice roasted vegetables. And a fresh, excuse me, red skin mashed potato with uh, all the good stuff in it. A little uh, sour cream, heavy cream, and uh, butter, of course. So we just do a nice little plate up. Mm. Nice seared vegetables. Yes. Our pesto shrimp. Very nice. And of course, nice piece of short rib, and can't forget all that nice braising liquid. That looks utterly delicious. That's so, enough to get me on the boat. Is it? Yes. Good. <laughs> Thank so, you so much. You're welcome. So can you tell us a little bit more about the different food op options that you have? I understand this is more like a surf and turf, but what about vegetarians and yeah. other? Right. This yeah. is a surf surf. This is this is our standard our standard menu. Um, we obviously accommodate for vegetarians. Uh, plenty of them out there as well as, you know, we have vegans, gluten free. We, we we deal with a lot of dietary yeah. issues, and uh, it's kind of a case by case basis as they come. We make adjustments to our menu for them. Uh, but as a standard for our vegetarian, we actually have a we do a, a Florentine stuffed pasta shell, and it's served with a uh, a blush sauce. So that's a it's a um, like kind of like a creamed marinara almost. Very nice, if you, especially if you can't choose between the marinara or the, uh, uh, the other types of Absolutely. sauces. Absolutely, <laughs> it's kind of the best of both worlds, right? Yeah, <laughs> I love it. I think one of the most important points to make is that all this food is prepared here, fresh. Absolutely, yes. We, we receive all our deliveries from our various vendors on the boats. It's brought in in its raw state. It's prepped here. 
Um, and you know, I don't think it gets any fresher than that, frankly. Thank you so much. And I'm truly impressed by Chef Brian Gist's cooking. So now we're going to head over to another extraordinary destination. If you're wondering how to take full advantage of the summer season, you're going to want to stay tuned because up next we have Knott's Soak City. It's a water park featuring thrilling rides, a wave pool, and even cabanas to kick back in. This year they're kicking off the season with new food and beverage options as well as some great opportunities to save on admission. So we're going to hear more from marketing manager Brandon Peridot as he tells us what more Knott's Soak City has in store for us this summer. I'm Brandon Perido, marketing manager for Not Stoke City, San Diego. Just wanted to invite everybody to come down and uh, check out the water park this summer. A lot of people forget is we're right here in your own backyard, not too far from downtown San Diego. We have season passes for only $64.99. And not only do you get this park, you also get to go to the Orange County Stoke City, the Palm Springs Stoke City, and basically you get three parks for the price of one. We're proud to say that we've got rides for every age group. Uh, we got Tice Trough for the little wee ones, ankle deep water, nice big bright yellow slides for them to slide down. We got the Beach House, it's a big jungle gym with all sorts of slides and uh, water attractions coming off it. Grammy Lagoon, all the way up for the thrill seekers. We got body slides, Pacific Spin, a six story high funnel where you go through about 150 feet of darkness before you pop out and half pipe your way down it. What better way to relax than to come and lay in the sun and have all sorts of water slides you can go down. The kids are always happy and running around. Uh, we feel that we have something for the parents to keep them entertained as well. And really it's just a great time for the whole family and uh, we're really proud of that. July is a really great month for us. Uh, we have a few special things going on. Uh, to start things off, 4th of July week, from Monday to Thursday, we're actually going to be offering free military or free admission to military uh, personnel, retired or active, and we're also providing a great discounts so they can bring their friends and family down. So just check SoakCitySD.com for more information on that, and you can uh, bring the whole family down. And we're proud to say thank you to our military service members and uh, reward them for, uh, I guess, doing so much for us and letting them in for free. Unlike some of the other parks around here, we are only seasonal. But when summer rolls around, we just want to invite everybody in San Diego to come down and have a great time. We'd love to see you down here and uh, pretty much guarantee you're going to have a great time. We'd like to thank our friends over at Not Soak City for keeping our San Diego summers nice and cool, but that's not the only way to spend your San Diego summers. In fact, we are right here on one of the ferries that you guys have. We're here again with Scott and Captain Rick. Thanks for having us out here. Tell Thank us you. about this boat that we're on. This is a Silvergate. This is a historic 1940 vessel that's been in service for this company ever since it was built. And it's used in ferry service back and forth across the bay to the ferry landing to, to the downtown area. And anytime you ride the ferry, this is the view you get to see. This is what we see on every single flagship or harbor excursion cruise. It's just a great view. We've had a great time learning about your entire fleet and the events that you have. And really, really look forward to coming again. Thank you. Thank you for letting us show you the flagship experience, Thank Maya. You. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Welcome anytime. Thanks so much. Now, it's been a very fun show for us, and it's time to wrap things up, but that doesn't mean your search for everything San Diego must end, too. You can learn more about some of the amazing finds featured here on the show at sdentertainer.com, where we bring you everything that San Diego has to offer month after month. So don't forget to reach out to us with your most amazing finds and tune in the first Sunday of every month here on CW6. I'm Maya Trabulsi from all of us here at ENL TV. Thanks for watching.